In this video, I'm going to show you a very simple lighting setup I created in a very bright white studio upstairs in my warehouse. And I have a back window which I'll have to um, overexpose to make sure no buildings show up in the background. And this is my very simple lighting setup. I'll be bouncing it off a white board uh, and the white wall. And I'll have my client sitting down or standing up near the chair as a prop. And this is the basic setup. You can see here um, the window will have to be overexposed by at least three stops to get that bleached out look. And my lighting's main light is bounced from half a meter from the board to give me that circular illumination. So it's just enough to give me a spillage and a nice sparkle in the eye. And the spillage of light will go all over the room and fill in the shadows and give me that nice skin tone. I'll be using a 70 to 200 mil L series lens f4 at 100, uh, focal length 100 and turn the stabilizer on and your autofocus on and tether to the computer capturing raw only and put your settings on manual mode on your camera and these are my settings at two, ISO 250th speed shutter speed 100 at 6.3 and make sure you have your focus point on the eyes at all times the most important thing to be in focus is the eyes. I did experiment with a backlight um, so it mimics the window light coming in and give you a bit of a kick light on the side of the subject. As you can see I'll show you a before and after but make sure that the light doesn't spill onto the back wall and bleach it out. You want a little bit of grey so it shows that you are in a room not a and you can see the difference here without bleaching the white wall. Very simple setup. You can see the before and after. I put the kick light on, so it looks like the window lights give me a nice kick light on the subject. And I'm just starting the shoot now, and uh, I'm just getting my client ready. And you can see the different shots. Make sure you keep the client moving and positioning the client on a different pose every time you take one shot. Just get them to move, don't give them much time to think and feel uncomfortable. Just more, the more they move, the more variety you're going to get and you're going to get a beautiful hero shot. So using the chair as a prop, you can get them to sit, stand, but keep them moving, giving you a different pose every couple of shots. Smiling, not smiling and just try some with backlight, some without backlight and see which, what lighting is better for your subject. And it's all looking good. I've been showing you the settings now that I did to uh, keep the skin looking uh, clean and not, not over, because digital tends to be a bit over sharp. So I applied some settings here and I did clarity minus 50 and that softened down the skin quite a lot so it doesn't have to be you still have the sharpness but it's a softer look a bit of curve a bit of uh, to your liking and just pump up the contrast and the highlights uh, fixed up my exposure to my liking I did minus saturation about 30 and because the contrast does pump up the color so be careful get a nice natural look and I just took a white balance off the white wall background. You can see here I applied all these settings to all of these shots. They all look good, hardly any retouching to be done. Um, this is straight from the raw capture and the client was very happy. 